hello and so welcome in this video we're going to create a next.js project using latest version of tailwind css okay so here our next.js version will be 15 and tailwind css version will be 4 that means we're going to install latest technology here okay so to doing this let me create a new project here we'll have to create a new folder and for this maybe we're going to create a next.js project so that's why next.js projects okay fine after creating this folder you will have to open your code editor i will choose visual studio code simply let me drag this folder and drop it here so right now you can see your folder name is at the avo here we're going to create a next.js project and then we'll install tailwind css here okay so for doing this you will have to go to next.js.org the official website of next.js here you simply copy this command to create a next.js project and back to the visual studio code you will have to drag this terminal and then we'll have to paste it here okay we're going to create a next.js app with the latest version of next.js okay so let me press enter it will ask for a project name if you want to create a new folder here then you will have to just type your folder name but if you want to just create your project inside this main folder you don't need a additional folder you can simply define a dot and let me press enter then it will ask for typescript would you like to use or not yes so we'll just use our side arrow key so left and right arrow key when you are going with typescript then yes is okay let me press enter then you will have to choose yes lint yes we're going to use it then it will ask would you like to install tailwind css if you just define yes here then it will install old version of tailwind css but our goal is we're going to use latest version of tailwind css so that's why we have to just make sure here it will be no then would you like to consider src folder no then would you like to use app router yes definitely let me press enter then would you like to use turbo pack so turbo pack give you a boost to just working with your next.js app so obviously we will use it let me press enter and now we make sure it will be no that means we are going with default import alias so that's why no look our next.js is project is creating okay it's done you can run your project by npm run dev so let me command npm run dev and let me press enter look we will get a localhost url so here we have to press ctrl and click here then you can see your next project is here and right now we don't have tailwind css installed here so our next target is we'll have to use the latest version of tailwind css so that's why from here we'll search tailwind css okay and let me press enter we'll go to tailwindcss.com then let me click this get started button and from here we'll just move to the framework guidance here we'll have to choose our framework that is actually next to this then at first the first step is complete we'll have to follow the next step that is actually this command simply copy this command then back to your code editor here our project is running you can just press ctrl c to stop it then you can just command clear to clear it then ctrl v to paste the command we're going to install tailwind css tailwind css forward slash post css and post css so we need to install all of this stuff let me press enter okay it's installing and after completed let me go to package.json file and here you will see we're using tailwind css version 4 react 19 version that means latest version of react and react dom then we will have next.js version 15 so this is the latest version of next.js and after then here what we'll have to do let me go back to the documentation here it says you will have to create a new file that name would be postcss.config.mjs that means modular js this mjs syntax means it's modular js that support import and export syntax okay let me go back to the code editor here we will just click this uh, package.json file then click this new fold file okay then we'll have to create this postcss.config.mjs that means modular js file let me press enter then we will have to copy this section let me copy this and we simply paste it here and after then we'll have to move to the step four here we'll have to import tailwind css on your global.css section so copy it back to the 
code editor here we'll go to the app section then we'll have global.css here we can just remove all of this stuff we can simply select everything just press back space to remove and simply paste ctrl v here we're just importing tailwind css on our global.css so if you do this you can run your project again by npm run dev okay so npm run dev and if you press enter look again it will just running and if you go back to your project you can see right now your project is using tailwind css okay so you can just use some of the tailwind css on your app.tsx file here for example let me design we will just remove everything from here and let me take a empty fragment and here for example let me take a atron and we will define hello developers okay something like this and we can just use some tailwind css here so for example let me define text size so text will be 5 excel for now then we'll define text center for now and if we go to back to our website you can see it's working we can add some padding for example p8 and if you back you can see the padding is applied there if you want to add some background color so busy for example let me define uh, indigo type colors for example indigo 400 now we can see it's applied you can just use text color by doing this way text white for now and now you can see it's working perfectly and here we're using latest version of tailwind css react 19 version and next this is 15 version so that's why i make this video if you want to work with latest version of all the technology then this video will help you okay so if you like this video obviously subscribe and leave a comment so that i can bring more video for you